So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 39. If f of x equals 3 times root 5x, what is the value of f inverse of 15? There's a couple different ways you can look at this. You can find out what the inverse function is first, and then plug in 15 and get the answer. That takes a little bit longer, but I'll do that way first, and then I'll show you a slightly quicker way, which you might like. Um, so let's write this instead of f of x, let's write it in y format. So we have some function y equals 3 times root 5x. If we were just asked to find the inverse function of this, we would solve for x, get x by itself, and then interchange the variables at the end. So let's do that. We can divide by 3 on both sides. We'll get y over 3 equals root 5x. Then we can square both sides, get rid of the square, square root symbol. So we'll get y squared over 9 equals 5x, and then we can divide by 5. So we'll get y squared equals 45, sorry, over 45 equals x, and then at the very end we interchange the variables. So we say y equals x squared over 45 instead. And that is the inverse function of what we started with. So then to find f inverse of 15, we just plug in 15 for x into this inverse function. So uh, we want to find f inverse of 15. We're going to do 15 squared over 45. 15 squared is 225, and 225 divided by 45 is 5. So the best choice is c. Another way to do this is to say, if we want to find f inverse of 15, we're really finding the value of x that makes the y coordinate 15. So we can actually plug it directly into this original function, this original function as well, but we're not plugging it in for x, we're plugging it in for y and then solving for x. And you can see how that's kind of the same thing as solving for x up front and then making the substitution. This asks us to do the substitution up front and then do the algebra after the fact. So if we wanted to go after it that way, we'd let y equal 15. And then that still equals 3 times root 5x. And now we have to solve for x. So we can kind of go through the same process. Divide by 3. 15 over 3 is 5 equals root 5x. And then we could square both sides. We would get 25 equals 5x. And then divide by 5. So x equals 5. And we get the same answer either way. So it should check out. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.